Well, the complaints about a local contractor accused of ripping off his clients just continue to pile up tonight. Last night, we first told you about contractor Jeff Fordley of Rensselaer. Tonight, Jennifer Lukey continues her investigation to get the real deal on his business practices. In March, Wendy Cotter unexpectedly lost her husband. When he passed away, he, I decided that I would rent the upstairs mm -hmm. because I didn't have his income anymore. Jeff Fordley agreed to remodel an upstairs bedroom and add a deck. A contract for the work was written, but... Each week he would ask me for more and more money. You know, there was $6,000, $7,000, $8,000. But he would show me things and say that's what he needed the money for. In a matter of five weeks, Wendy paid Fordley $42,000. He tore a lot apart, but putting it back together... It's garbage. Yeah. You know, a toddler could have done better. It's piss poor, to tell you the God's honest truth. When we tracked down Jeff Fordley, he knew exactly why we were there. There's no story I didn't do anything. Well, you took $42,000. <laughs> no, I didn't. You didn't take $42,000? No, no. And you can call the detective I before you air me. for $42,000. Okay. What about all the material that was left there? Um, work that was done that was there? I agree, she owes money back. Absolutely. Um... The fact is, is how much? What's that? The bottom line is, she says she paid you $42,000. And what's there, we both agree, is not $42,000 worth of work. I have $25,000 in receipts for material that was left at her house. He was only able to produce about $10,000 worth, though. I think I told him I'd agree to give her like 20 back, 20, 25, something like that. Thousand? Yeah. So. And do you have that readily available? Well, I'm waiting on him to write the contract. That was the last time we spoke. And you can hand her that cash back? I'm not handing her anything. I'm handing her a lawyer, whatever. The reason I ask that question is because Fordley already has a number of judgments against him from others who've been unhappy with his work. For a Cub Scout, maybe, for his first job, but, yeah. but not definitely not professional. And then the same thing with the painting, you know, whatever ended up anywhere ended up anywhere. Nancy Sargent hired him to remodel her bathroom. They gutted it and first three days everything seemed like it was going really well and then it was just like he just got tired of it. The shower tiles aren't cut straight, there's no caulking around the tub, the vanity with a bright blue mark on the front of it isn't attached to the wall and the list goes on. CBS 6 has also learned Jeff Fordley has been banned by Albany City Codes from pulling any permits. Inspectors found his work on a number of jobs was so shoddy it wasn't meeting codes. Do you have any recent clients that you could refer me to that were satisfied with your work? I'm sure I can get some, but I don't want to give them to you without talking to them first. He never did get me any of those names, and we have since found out that Jeff Fordley was kicked off of HomeAdvisor.com in 2008. When he reapplied earlier this year, he was denied again for a bankruptcy issue. It turns out he was using his brother as a front. Now, all of the women we talked to for this story have reached out to the police departments in their cities and towns to see if they have any criminal charges against Jeff Fordley. We, of course, will keep you posted. That's The Real Deal. I'm Jennifer Lukey. And if you've had a run-in with Jeff Fordley, you can reach Jennifer at The Real Deal at CBS6Albany.com.